Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Hobbies of Titus. I'm Jim Titus, and today we are looking at a couple of items that I have purchased and that are, so it's mail day. I'll just say it that. These are all comic books, one of which I've waited a long time for it to come. Come. Because it is, there weren't a lot made. And then this one. Found from East Side Comics. They call it fragile and they make it next to impossible to get into. But I pre-ordered this one. And as I've said, I am a huge fan of the cover art on this artist. And would like to eventually someday get her to Do some stuff for me. And there is more tape on here than... They did not put tape on the actual cover, did they? I've never seen that happen before. Okay, Eastside Comics, make sure you're, if you're not going to bag and board your books, make sure that you don't put tape on the cover in case you tear up the book itself. But I have gotten both the Black Flag and KRS Comics exclusives for Natalie Sanders. She's does the uh, the painted covers and also which gives great shading for Punchline on Punchline number one but does like the Vogue, Vogue covers as well, which I really appreciate. And I'm looking at her, she has a site. I'm getting ready to buy some, uh, some prints from there, but I really do appreciate her style. 
she brings up that she has the glamour photos. And this is only one book. It was used, made especially for the purpose of a autograph signing by Margot Robbie. And this is of Harley Quinn 75. So it, as you guys know, I've been collecting the covers. So this is an extremely limited limited selections so I managed to snag it because they were they were selling them with the autographs I think for around 750 800 bucks now I can just try to somehow get it on my own someday whenever if I ever meet her and get it and get it picked up but yeah it's it's not a book you're gonna find in your collection very often and so yes, it's not an artist copy, but the photocopies are also there. When you can get them, that it's awesome. I just checking one thing. I want to see if it has a number, a printing number on the back. But it was put out by Celebrity Authentics. I don't have an entire run number, but it was extremely limited. And you can find them on like eBay, but they're selling for right around a hundred bucks. And I didn't. I went directly from the company and got it a lot less. So before they sold out. And then I had to wait for all the signings to go through before they would even release it. So I am really ecstatic to have both of these. And hopefully you enjoyed them too. Thanks and have a good day.